so we'll verify this activity today in which we are going to cover up this identity a plus b into a minus b which is equals to a square minus b square we all know that right yes. so how we are going to verify we'll use origami sheets for that so i have taken a pink one that is a squared paper and i pasted this blue on that all right i'm assuming that the side of this pink one the bigger one is a so the bigger square is representing a square right yes. and i'm assuming that the side of the smaller one is b so the smaller one is representing b square and when i am placing this b square that means the blue one on this pink one the remaining area this one and two this is showing what a square minus, minus b square. square this is removed minus b square yeah. all right so my task is to arrange these two portions in such a way that they represent a plus b into a minus b all right so for that what we are going to do i have already done this for you i have labeled the bigger square as a b c d Okay. okay, and then this blue one has A E F G. All right. Yeah. So look at this first portion only. If this complete length is A, if this complete length is A, then what will be this length? A minus B. A minus B. So this is A minus B. All right. Yeah. Now this side is B. So this portion in pink, this will also represent B. B. similarly this is also representing b if this complete is a and this is b what is this remaining portion a this is also a minus b all right yes, what is this length bc a. a and what is this length bc this is also a all right so what we'll do after that we'll prepare one more such kind and we'll remove this pink portions only then you will have two cutouts two quadrilaterals one will be this e b c f and the other one will be g f c d first part and second part and our task is to arrange them in the form of a rectangle so that it represents a plus b into a minus b so when you will do it you will get something like this so this is the first quadrilateral yes prabhu quadrilateral is the area of area of trapezium yes you can but for that you need to apply the formula you need to have the height and you have to add these two all right so all the things will be in the form of a and b so your calculation will increase and when we want to verify a formula or any identity using activity why we need to do so many uh, calculations in that is it required when we can do it without doing this all right we want to make things easier not difficult okay so yes this is a trapezium this is also a trapezium okay we have the sides also this is a this is this is a this is b we have the height also we can apply that formula but in that case we have to do so many calculations and in activity we avoid doing calculations in classroom questions and in exam you can do it like this okay so i have this pink portion and the reverse side of the second part with me now look at this carefully is it forming a rectangle now yes there is a small default in pasting but i am sure you will do it properly okay so what is the breadth a minus, a minus b what will be the length a, a plus, b. plus b okay so what will be the area a, a plus b, b. b. hence the portion that we got after cutting this blue from the pink this blue from the pink when we are rearranging it we are getting this all right and here it is representing a square minus b square and here it is representing a plus b into a minus b clear hai sabko 